today we're doing two of my favorite things, or really one of my favorite things with one of my favorite ingredients, which makes two favorite wonderful things happening. First, I want to marinate them. So I'm going to start in this jar. Let's move the raw chicken wings away. I'm going to be kind of careful when I'm dealing with the chicken not to cross-contaminate. So that was one large shallot, and it was chopped up pretty finely. And this is a cup of fresh lemon juice, which... It's lime juice. You're gonna need about a dozen limes. I'm gonna season it with a little salt. You know the thing, right? If you spill salt, you toss it over your shoulder. It negates all the bad luck. Okay, good. And some pepper. And what will happen while these things are sitting and hanging out together, the acidity of the lime juice will kind of go to work on the shallot. The flavor of the shallot will infuse into the lime juice. The lime juice will kind of cause the shallots to give up a lot of their liquid and soften and basically together they will create a new flavor so now i'm adding toasted sesame oil got honey soy sauce half a cup everybody goes together so if you were making this in a bowl you're just like whisk it to combine it's great to do it in a jar because you can really emulsify it. And so you can see it went from like all those clear translucent liquids to something that is opaque. All right, I salted peppered these chicken wings, which is a tip that I really like. I just feel like you need to get the seasoning directly onto that food. Another thing you may observe as I'm seasoning these wings is that these have the drumette and the flat. This part is the drumette it looks like the little drumstick right it's like chubby up top and thin on the end like a perfect pair of calves and the other side is called the flat and that has so this guy has one bone kind of like a drumstick and then this side is called the flat and there are actually two thin bones that run through it the part that is not here would have made um, the triangle which is the wing tip personally love the wing tip salted pepper shaky shaky and then I'm gonna take about a cup of this. Saving this, we're gonna drizzle a little bit over at the end. This is what they look like after they've been marinated. And the other thing I'm gonna do before we go over to the grill is take these shishitos. These became like the trendiest pepper of all, pepper of all time. What year did shishitos? It was like 2011, I wanna say, 2014. Um, really became the rage. One out of 10 is gonna be like burn your face off spicy and the rest of them are really mild, but they grill really, really nicely. They get great char on them. So I'm just adding a little bit of vegetable oil, salt and pepper, salt and pepper, as Frank likes to say. Frank's my dad. All right, now I'm gonna take these out. This is another, if you're grilling at home, just good to get your like little grill kit going. A sheet pan is your friend, your tongs. Cool, wow. <laughs> Cool, I feel like a chimney sweep. It's a good idea to heat your grill up before you brush it because some of the whatever was left on it will have burnt off a little bit or at least gotten kind of dried out. Very important though, guys, you wanna be over medium heat. If you're over high heat, what's gonna happen is that the skin's gonna get very dark very, very quickly. So you'll get this like kind of burnt, kind of acrid, very, very dark outer layer. Underneath, you're kind of kind of have flabbiness and maybe the chicken um, won't be fully cooked through. So already we have like a good amount of color. As long as the protein releases from the grill, it's really okay to turn it frequently and especially anytime you see a flare up. Flare ups happen when the fat that's rendering liquefies, hits the heat source and it makes like a little fire these tongs towards the end of the cooking, I'm gonna swap out to a fresh pair because these have the raw chicken marinade on them and I don't want that to end up on the platter. How will you know that your chicken wings are done? Use the visual cues and the time in this instance to um, assess whether they're done. But also you're looking to make sure that they're evenly golden brown, really dark brown is what I'm going for. Brad. Yes ma'am. We have an opportunity to tell the people about headlamps. Oh, big mistake <laughs> if you don't own one. Because you know what? Big mistake. You always start the grill a little late. It takes a little longer than you thought. 
before you know it. You're out there like this, you can't see nothing. Headlamp all the way. And then you have someone like, oh, it's okay, I'll just put my phone over yeah, it. Good luck. It's have like, fun. That's, <laughs> that's not good either. I just keep be one prepared. In my backpack, yep. which I carry all the time. <laughs> I keep one in my car. You never know when the lights are going to go out. You gotta be prepared. <laughs> So not only do we advise you to have a headlamp when you're grilling, it is a big mistake not to. It's a very strong endorsement. So sometimes when you're, when you're cooking, one of the pitfalls, especially for like when you first start cooking, is like, why well, won't my food take on any color? Most people are afraid of, of burning things so they actually don't turn the heat up high enough. When you're cooking something that has a marinade, like this one does, that has a little bit of sugar, so sometimes honey, sometimes maple syrup, sometimes it's just sugar, um, you don't have to worry about that at all. What you have to be thinking about is like, you know you're gonna get good, good color, but how can you control the rate at which the protein takes on the color so that it cooks through? And that's what we're dealing with with these chicken wings. So here's the thing. The cut end of this is really not getting any color because it's going front and back. So sometimes you can lean the guy up. So I'm starting to take chicken off. I'm, the, for the smaller pieces as predicted are cooking faster. Also chicken, I know a lot of people are really understanding and really smart about why it's important to rest a steak after cooking. I think people think that that doesn't apply to other proteins, but it 100% does. And when these chicken wings come off of the grill, they're going to continue to cook from carryover. And especially because there's like a lot of bone, there's one large bone there and the two there, and the bones get really hot. So they're conducting heat right into the center of the flesh, which is not a thing that happens when you're cooking a steak. So if you just tear them open, right? I mean, I can just tell that that meat is totally cooked. I'm gonna go fresh tongs, fresh tongs, everybody. Um, and these are those shishito peppers. These are gonna go really, really fast. So the shishitos, I'm gonna let them roll around. They don't have any fat that's gonna render. There's not gonna be any flare ups unless there was really a lot of oil on them, which there wasn't. So I want them to take on a nice amount of color and they're kind of sauteing on the grill, right? You can see they're like jumping around and moving and crickle crackling. Um, so all is good. I feel like I should just. Mm. They need a little more salt. And if you salt stuff right when it comes off the grill, kind of give it a opportunity to mingle with the juices that are resting and actually get salted all the way through and do a little more. Look, they're whistling. So again, these are pretty mild, but it's, it's a little bit of playing shishito roulette. Once in a while, you will bite into one. It's gonna be super spicy. Can definitely taste the lime juice. I have a friend who had to break up with a guy because they ate chicken wings together. And the way that he ate the chicken wings was so gross. Like, put the whole thing in his mouth and basically pull the bone out. She was like, everything was going great. We should not have eaten chicken wings together. Now we have to break up. I'm actually going to put these right back into their little oil, salt and pepper bowl and toss them around. Okie dokie. So the way that this dish finishes has a lot of smoky flavors, a little bit of sweetness, but then you also get bright, fresh notes from the herbs. You get a little bit more of our magic vinaigrette. And I like putting the vinaigrette on while the wings are still warm because they're just gonna absorb all of that flavor. The shishitos. This is such a good party starter. So if you had everything set up and right before people were coming, you're taking these off of the grill. It's just great, like finger food. So this is a red Fresno. It should be medium spicy. The way that the peppers are falling onto the wings, 
is like they're pretty here and there. So if you wanted to avoid them, you certainly could. And then this is a mix of mint. I think it's great to just do this at the last minute because they'll just have the most aroma. So not so much herbage that you can't see what's going on underneath, but just enough so that it looks fresh and delicious. Hey Siri, call Andrew Knowlton. Why? Why do I have to unlock my iPhone? Why? Oh, because there's three phone numbers. Uh, we have some chicken wings down here with your name on them. You too good for that? He was like, do you want me to come try them? I was like, no, I'm just calling you to tell them that they're here for your edification. Duh, of course I want you to come try them. You've been invited to come try them. Well, while we're waiting, I'll just transfer my leftover vinaigrette. You could do the exact same thing with um, any chicken parts, really. Thighs, drumsticks, bazooms, whatever you wanna do. Thin cut pork chops I think would be really delicious. Little lamb chops, yeah, I don't see why not. Um, steak, yeah, lime, shallot, soy, sure, why not? Steak it up. If someone called you on the phone and said, hey, do you wanna come down and try some chicken wings? What would you say? I would say, be there in a jiff. <laughs> exactly. In a oh, shishito peppers, eh? One in 10 is gonna knock your socks um, off, you know what I mean? Oh my God, I love a chicken wang. So if you had to choose between a flat and a drumette, like if it was like platters. Um, I like flip flop all the time. I don't know. I'm not like a I'm loyalist. asking you to choose. Uh, probably a drumette. Same. No, I'm a flat. You are? A flat, Always. all that skin. There's no like under bits that aren't getting action on the flat, you know? I, There's a so demand. Um, great question. Lime juice. I can tell. Quite a bit. You can really taste it. Yeah. A cup of lime juice. 12 limes, as it turns out. Well, Andrew, thank you so much for coming down. Oh. Was Andrew supposed to be here? <laughs> it's a recipe that was created from a dish that he inspired. I love chicken wings, like I said at the beginning, and I love grilling, and I love the way that these grilled chicken wings with shishitos and sesame vinaigrette came out, and if no one else shows up, I'm gonna eat the entire thing by myself. Come back anytime. I gotta go now. Next time you see Andrew, just let him know. They're pr pretty good. Literally, Guy did not come down.